47 Minecraft item facts you possibly didn't know. Once you play in creative mode, it's clear to see that Minecraft is full of items. So today, we're joined by Blog Facts to cover the Minecraft item facts that you might have missed. And hey, YouTube scripture says it's impossible to subscribe and like the video at the same time. So if you want to prove that's a myth, simultaneously slap those two buttons below. It's free, and it helps out a ton. Number one, landing a shot with a bow and arrow is easier said than done. However, it looks like the game might be partially to blame. See, if you were to stand close to a wall and fire off several shots without moving, you'll notice that the arrows fall slightly to the right of your crosshair. And if you change to left-handed in the settings, it's the opposite, which I guess makes some sense. Number two, Minecraft has plenty of resources to craft with, but have you ever wondered which item gets the most use? Well, turns out the iron ingot takes the top slot at 34 crafting recipes, with planks falling right behind at 33. And while I would have guessed that those were the other way around, it's still plenty of a reason to get yourself both an iron and a tree farm in the future. Number three, ender pearls can be a real lifesaver, especially when you're traveling in the end. Or they would be if I could get the angle right, but training that arc isn't always easy, though it turns out that ender pearls and snowballs can be thrown at the same range, meaning we can figure out our trajectory before losing any hearts. And that extra prep makes all the difference. Number four, unfortunately, the bedrock condition doesn't allow for all items to be held in the offhand, but that doesn't mean every offhand item has a use. Take the Nautilus shells, for example. For us, they do nothing in either slot, but the reason they work like this is because the drown mobs have to hold them like so. So it is useless, but it's at least a fun detail. Number five, if you've ever fought the Wither, you're familiar with its second phase. That being, when you see these particles, it's your cue to switch from a bow to a sword. Or it would be if we didn't have fireworks. See, by loading these into a crossbow, we can still damage the Wither with its armor, and that lets us finish the fight from a safe distance. Number six, if you can get your hands on a Tone of Undying, it's an invaluable resource to have, but it does mean we give up an offhand slot to make it work. Though, for what it's worth, the 3DS version of Minecraft lets the totem work in any of the hotbar slots, since there's no offhand feature in that version, which is nice, but I'd rather stick to PC. Number seven, if you've messed around with Minecraft's paintings, you've probably seen this before. And while the skull on fire is not only iconic, it also contains a neat detail. The background of the shot is actually a screenshot from Minecraft Alpha. And more surprisingly, a team actually found the seed from this screenshot and recreated it years later, which is some crazy dedication for sure. Number eight, Minecraft enchantments are a great thing, but they don't always make sense. And while it's weird to use a fire aspect book for light and TNT, I think it's even stranger that we can put mending on a carrot on a stick. But if you've got the levels, I'm sure the pigs appreciate it, though I still can't get over the image of a regenerating carrot. Number nine, when you're exploring in Minecraft, we all know to pack a bunch of food, yet somehow I still never seem to bring enough. And would you believe it, that was even worse than the beta versions of Minecraft, since back then only the cookies would stack, and even then you could only have up to eight of them in a given stack. And thankfully nowadays we've got much better pockets for our pork. Number 10, why don't wither skeletons carry bows like the others? Well, this might be our answer, since when we spawn in one of these with a bow like so, the skeletons start shooting fire arrows instead. And thankfully, the developers decided not to add another fire shooting mob to the nether. But for a custom difficulty, this would fit right in. Number 11, Minecraft doesn't have a lot of flying mobs, and I think that's a missed opportunity. So to change that around, we can do so with the help of elytras. See, with commands, you can actually attach elytras to certain mobs, but it won't do anything until we set the fall flying tag to 1B. At that point, we can let them glide around and launch our first ever Minecraft mob airlines. Number 12. Even though Minecraft's a sandbox, the game still has some given rules, like how you can only type 16 characters for the title of a book in Quill. That is when typed like this. But through the help of an anvil, we can circumnavigate the limit and get a much longer title. And I can think of some books that need just that. Number 13. Back in 2014, Microsoft famously purchased Mojang for a chunk of cash. So while we're all familiar with the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, did you know that there were Minecraft versions of Windows 10? Sure enough, five of updates for Windows 10 were codenamed Redstone, which is cute, but I'm not sure it's worth $2.5 billion for that reference. Number 14. To speed up game development, it's nice to cut corners when you can, and Minecraft's textures have plenty of examples of that, but what's weirder still is which they decide to reuse and which they make from scratch. Like, the bucket of cod and bucket of tropical fish are recolorations, but the item sprites themselves are different, and I don't get why you'd only do half the assignment. Number 15. Diamonds are the quintessential rare item in Minecraft's overworld, but for a time, there was something even rarer. See, when they were added, cocoa beans weren't exactly renewable, meaning the only ones you could get were from a lucky exploration trip. And that, folks, meant that they existed on a smaller part of the map than the diamond ore. So I hope those cookies are made were worth it. Number 16. At some point, I think we've all heard Minecraft's music discs. And even though some are better than others, they've each got a unique identity. And I'd say that disc 11 definitely fits that description. While it's a bit of a chore to listen to it all, you might not have noticed that it lasts for 1 minute, 11 seconds, and 111 milliseconds exactly. All of it absolutely dry. Number 17. Clearly, in a game called Minecraft, you're gonna have a bunch of crafting recipes. 
abilities, which makes it all the weirder when some of them get removed in later updates. Take Horse Armor, for example. When initially added back in the Snapshot 13W16A, they had crafting recipes like so, but just 24 days later, they were removed. So I guess we'll have to stick to Fortress Chest to get our supply. Number 18. Bone Meal is a surprisingly powerful tool, and as someone who doesn't like waiting, it's essential for me. But apparently it's more robust than even I thought. While we're all familiar with Bone Meal on the top of a grass block, it can also work from the sides and bottom. It'll even work if a plant is already on top, making this super substance even easier to use. Number 19. If you've messed around with Minecraft modding, you know there are plenty of files to sort through. And hidden in those files are some sneaky details. For instance, did you know that axes were originally referred to as hatchets in the game's code? But since Java 1.13, the language files now reflect the current name. But since the axes are still one-handed, I could see it either way. Number 20. Basically everything in Minecraft has more of a use than the furnace minecart. And for this reason, Mojang explicitly didn't add it to the Bedrock and 3DS versions of the game. Jeb even mentioned removing them outright from the Java edition. So unless they decide to make these trains actually usable, it's only a short while before this joins the forgotten ranks of Beast Boy and Frog Girl. Number 21. If you want to buff your crossbow, then a quick charge enchantment is a must-have. And hey, if you want more Minecraft facts, then a subscription's a must-have too. Thank you, by the way. But even with that, I wouldn't push it too far, because it turns out that quick charge level 6 and above pauses the animation on the first frame. Since the resulting reload time is now negative, the game can't even start the animation to load. But even if it could, it would take over 69 years to finish that. And at that point, your opponent's probably moved on. Number 22. You don't have to play creative mode for long to come across these spawn eggs. I mean, there's a lot of them. But while we're familiar with how they look nowadays, they didn't always seem that way. In fact, back in the snapshots of 1.1, they were each sourced from one file that was tinted for the variations. And I'm glad they decided to change. Number 23. Finding the best fuel source can be something of a math problem. But if you're on Bedrock, you should know that bowls are a more efficient fuel source than sticks. Since six planks craft into eight bowls to smelt eight items, instead of crafting 12 sticks to smelt only six. And this will be a big help for when you're trying to smelt down the stem blocks next time you're in the nether. Number 24. Minecraft's apples have a bit of a weird history. For starters, the original texture wasn't even for Minecraft, but rather a previous game by the game's creator called Legend of the Chambered. And while that texture was changed in the texture update, that's not the end of this guy's association with apples. Since to this day, if you kill him, he'll drop an apple with his other items. Number 25. With so many items to collect, it's only fair we have some way to show them off. And while item frames are a staple in the way that we decorate nowadays, prior to this Reddit post, it wasn't even considered. But sure enough, just like the ender chest and the flower pot, item frames made it in through a community suggestion. And thankfully so, I might add. Number 26. Clearly, TNT can pack quite a punch. But what we can do in damage here gets even more serious when we add it to a cart. As it turns out, all it takes is a direct hit from three merged TNT minecarts to take a full diamond armor player right down to half a heart. And though other methods can deal more damage, I'd rather just spend the ingots and get this cheap fix. Number 27. According to Mojang's official write-up, they don't currently plan to add in more community-made mods or features. But while that's true for now, it wasn't always the case. And in fact, the sound you hear here was actually inspired by a third party. While playing on the PvP server Project Ares, Dinnerbone noticed the high-pitched sound and added it into the bows we use today. Number 28. Gold tools aren't exactly known for their durability. Or rather, they are, but not for good reason. But have you ever wondered just how bad they are? Well, apparently, it only takes one snow golem to find out. See, if you dig the snow under a snow golem's feet, your golden shovel won't even last four seconds before it shatters. And I know gold's soft in real life, but snow is too, so that just seems pathetic. Number 29. Every great artist tends to sign their work. And apparently, Minecraft textures are no different. Though I wouldn't blame you if you never noticed the hidden autographs on the armor stand, since they aren't visible on any part of the item or entity. But look at the texture file, and sure enough, both Sarge and Japper have their names right here on the bottom, hidden from plain view. Number 30. Nowadays, shields are a necessity for PvP, but it turns out there's something even better. Or at least, there will be. See, in the separate combat test snapshots, Mojang currently has a change that will allow shields with banners to have more absorption, giving 10 instead of 5. And while this will likely be replaced with actual shield variants in the final run, for right now, a little banner goes a long way. Number 31. How would you classify a saddle? I mean, it's definitely a utility, but I wouldn't consider it armor. Minecraft, however, seems to disagree, since when you put a saddle on a pig, it counts as armor, but adds no protection. That's why you can see it when the pig goes invisible. But interestingly, the same doesn't apply to a horse, but only to horse armor. 
Weird. Number 32. Sometimes Mojang makes a change that doesn't seem all that important. And while there might be room for discussion on that, this one's hard to argue. See, prior to 1.16.2, Pufferfish when eaten gave the player a nausea 2 effect. But since then, it's only nausea 1. Though, since the level of nausea doesn't impact the effect's potency, it really doesn't make much difference. Number 33. Minecraft has its fair share of rare items. Turns out that there are even rarer names. In vanilla, there are only three items obtainable in survival with a magenta tinted name. Those being the dragon egg, the enchanted golden apple, and the thing banner pattern. And if you ask me, one of those things is not like the others. But if you have them, feel free to show off. Number 34. Silk touch is a valuable enchantment to have. So valuable, in fact, that many of us don't want to waste it. Which is why shears used to be so great. See, prior to 1.9, we could enchant shears with silk touch, and then use that enchantment elsewhere. Meaning, if you build with a lot of glass, put silk touch on your shears, and instead you've got an unbreakable glass remover. Which was cool while it lasted. Number 35. Crafting a netherite hoe is something of a joke, and the advanced Let's call attention to that. But if you took the time to wear down the tool, you might notice it doesn't break the same as the others. And the reason for this is because tilling the soil is based on the server, so it doesn't display a break in animation like the other ones. If you manage to break it, that is. Number 36. I'll go out on a limb and say that nobody likes to be poisoned, and even fewer people like to be lied to. So with those two facts, it pains me to say that Minecraft is doing both, because apparently the potion of poison 2 has effects that last for 22.5 seconds, but the time says 22 because it rounds down. And now you have to live with that fact. I'm sorry. Number 37. Within the game's code, Minecraft has a few hidden messages directed to the player, and the suspicious stew is a key example of that. See, the logic behind this addition was for the developers to communicate that lilies of the valley are actually poisonous in real life. Which is nice to know, but it's not like daisies give regeneration in real life, so the message might not always come across. Number 38. Adventure mode is an interesting concept, but it's not a perfect system. For instance, say a playtester comes across a flint and steel. Well, without this tag, they can't spark fires or light nether portals, but they can still ignite creepers and TNT, and to me that seems equally destructive, if not more so. Number 39. What's the right way to craft a bed? Well, nowadays the answer would depend on the color sheets you want, but in the past all we had was the standard red, and with that meant we had a bunch of different ways to craft the same choice. In fact, between the 16 wools and 6 different planks, there used to be 3,456 ways just to craft this one bed. Number 40. Minecraft is synonymous with customization, so obviously the fireworks fit with that motif, but with all the different ways to deck out your rockets, have you ever wondered how many options we have to choose from? Well, apparently there are two to the 10,136 distinct fireworks to use. And that's more than the number of atoms in the universe, which is just insane. Number 41. Throwing a splash potion is an exact science. And some of you likely know that it's better to land one of these on your noggin than it is on your feet. But it's the same true for bottles of enchanting. Well, when you test both ways, it's a myth. As it turns out, it doesn't make any difference where you throw these. So pick your favorite, and it'll work just the same. Number 42. The spyglass is one of the cooler additions in the 1.17 update, and it's a nice alternative to Optifine Zoom when you need a closer look. But something tells me this is a bit too close. Sure enough, using the slash item replace command, you can place a spyglass on Steve's head and have it appear smack dab in the center of the face. Number 43. We all know diamonds are a great resource to have, which is why it's all the more unfortunate that we can't farm them. Or at least, we can't farm them like this. Because all it takes is a visit to a village to find yourself a renewable supply of all diamond tools, weapons, and armor. So you can't get infinite jukebox but the rest is pretty much taken care of. Number 44. With the advent of bees in the 1.15 overhaul, Mojang gave us something new to put in our bottles. And while that's nice, there is a little detail here I can't quite understand. If you look at the two textures, you can see that a honey bottle is four pixels more full than a water one. Which is strange, but maybe that's why we can't craft water blocks like so. Number 45. When you're talking about items, mob drops are sure to come up. But figuring out what those mob drops are is its own problem. And Notch definitely came across that. So that's why in the development stage for Java, edition, zombies used to drop feathers, and according to the developer, he didn't know what else they should drop. And it wasn't until the 1.8 beta pre-release that he finally got his replacement. Number 46. By this point, I think we're all plenty aware that Mojang made Minecraft. I mean, it's kind of hard not to notice, but by chance you didn't, this secret might help you realize. As others have noted, when you look through the symbols on the end crystal, they can be rearranged to spell out none other than the studio's name, Mojang. And that's probably the coolest signature I've ever seen. Number 47. If you've talked to a cartographer, you've probably seen one of these things. That being the coveted explorer map for finding mansions and monuments. But while these look like regular maps, it turns out they work fairly differently. See, these maps generate based on chunk data, not on whether the player fills them out. Meaning, if you got one of these and then left it at home, it'd still fill out just the same. And with that, folks, big thanks to Blockfax. Take care, and have a good one, alright?